I had a horrible nightmare last night. Uh, I dreamt I drank the world's largest margarita and uh, woke up this morning there was salt on the toilet lid. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I didn't eat the worm in there, I'll tell you that much right there. Boy, that wouldn't have been good right there. Call number one if you want. I spot a little pinstriping tattoo back there? Oh, <laughs> that's just so... <laughs> oh. oh, you saw that? <laughs> just gonna be going. Yeah. I love women. I used to date this one girl who had one boob bigger than another. And uh, she got in a wet t-shirt contest and took first and third place out there at the contest out there. Bless her heart. I was so proud of my sister. Bless her heart, I think. That's right. I used to date this one girl who looked like Michelle Pfeiffer, only a little shorter, and the face was different. I was drinking it looked like Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Next morning, Barney Pfeiffer laying there in the bed there now. He was ugly. I had one girl who had a beauty mark on her cheek. That was pretty sexy, like Cindy Crawford. We get to kissing and stuff. I was looking. It was a tick. <laughs> I, I know. I disappeared like a set of rims at a Puff Daddy concert. I tell you what. I was out the door. Out the door. Victoria's Secret. You ever been in there? Get her done, that's right. That's like a grown fella Chuck E. Cheese in there. I like that joint. I was up there the other day, I was sniffing around in there a couple hours. And <laughs> looking for some gift ideas. You know what they got in there? Under bridges with holes in the crotch. You believe that? $24 women paying for under shorts with holes in the crotch. I'm not that gum, I got a whole drawer full of them at the house for Pete's sake. <laughs> I bet I'm sitting on two, three hundred dollars worth of them underdrugs. There's a girl put a pair of them on for my birthday one time. I come home, she's sitting there. She's like, you want some of this right here? I'm like, no, look what it did to your undershirt. <laughs> good Lord. What in the world? Looked like a good place for one of them plug-ins or something, for Pete's sake. One of them vanilla plug-ins or something. They got all kind of stuff out there. They got this deal now. Bridges you eat. You ever seen that? Eating bridges? Eating bridges. Who in the world thought of eating bridges? What do you want to do tonight? Let me eat your undershirt. <laughs> Give me a glass of milk. I'm going to gobble them up right here. I tell you. Honey, put some in the refrigerator. I'm going to make a sandwich later. I was with a girl that liked that stuff. I was seeing this good-looking girl for about six weeks, and then uh, somebody took my binoculars out of the truck there. And, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she was a midget stripper. And uh, seriously, I met her at a party one night. She popped out of a cupcake. And, uh, but anyway, she liked all them edible underbridges. And I bought her five pairs of the strawberry eating bridges. And I bought five pair because I always end up eating two or three pair on the way to her house. <laughs> They're pretty good now. <laughs> Thank God they don't make them in biscuits and gravy. I'll tell you that much right there. They're going right. I'll be getting fat just on undershorts. Eat some snack well panties. That's what they need right there. Get her done. That's right. Honey, I'm on a diet. Put on some fruit roll-ups, would you? Went in for checkup the other day, doctor stick his finger out my hind hand, all right? Didn't even tell me, did does it. I'm standing there, I'm like, hey, you gonna watch ball game on Thursday? Ooh, what in the world? <laughs> then he said he found something. <laughs> I'm like, found something? <laughs> I didn't even know you was looking for nothing up there. <laughs> I'm all bent out of shape. What in the world's in my hind hand? Hope it's a remote control. I ain't seen it in three weeks. <laughs> Dumb. No wonder every time I fart, the volume goes up on that TV set over there. I found something in my hind end. So 
something else. That's the worst dentist I've been to in about five years. I tell you straight up. I tell you straight up. I was watching the TV the other day. People suing everybody nowadays. You believe that? People getting sued for smoking the cigarettes. So they say it caused cancer. They're going to get sick. Well, it says on the box you're going to get sick. I'm going to sue Hustler Magazine for giving my wrist carpal tunnel. How's that sound right there? That's right. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. You can't laugh at that. You need to get out of here. Cause That's funny right there. That's funny. They want to take the Winston out of NASCAR. Did you know that? They say that's offensive. Well, where in the world? Who's going to sponsor NASCAR? Stay free mini pad? <laughs> That'd be pretty good racing, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, we got 43 cars this year in the Kotex Cup. There's Jeff Gordon in the number 24 Strawberry Dew Chevy Monte Carlo. <laughs> How'd you get tickets to the Tampon 200? <laughs> well, we pulled some strings and we got some good seats. <laughs>